Hi all, my name is Sabiha and I'm the Business Development Manager with VG Learnings. So today in this video, I would like to talk about uh, one of our very, um, you know, tremendously popular course uh, in the accounting field, which is the US CPA. And I'm going to address the frequently asked questions about this program. Mainly, I would like to first talk about is the US CPA eligibility, because everybody would want to know first if they are eligible or not. So the US CPA eligibility says that one requires 120 credit points to sit for the four papers. And later on, once they clear the four exams, they need uh, to apply for the CPA license for which they need 150 credit points, as well as one to two years of work experience. So to understand what is the credit system, okay? So in our uh, country, in India, a graduation is ideally for three years. So every year of graduation gives you 30 credit points. So if a person has completed BCom or BBA or a BSc and has completed three years of graduation gets 90 credit points. Apart from that, if a person has done masters such as MCom or an MBA or various other courses like the Indian Chartered Accountancy, and the ICWAI, which is the Indian CMA, and company secretary, they all get 60 credit points added onto their graduation. So ideally, anybody who is pursuing a BCom along with uh, MCom, there are certain states which also allow people and they might get eligible to start their CPA exams while even preparing uh, their MCom or their MBA but for which we need to check their mark sheets and go uh, in detail to check their subjects as well. So a person who has completed his BCom with an MCom or an MBA or comes with like an Indian Chartered Accountant along with his graduation of three years, so they are eligible. To get more details about the eligibility and to clarify your doubts, for that you will have to contact VG Learnings where we will ask for documents and get it thoroughly checked and we will confirm it via email that yes, you're eligible. There are certain questions that can just a graduation help someone start US CPA? Yes, there are certain US evaluation bodies who say that if one comes from a university which is a NAC A grade and has a first class in their graduation, they will give them 120 credits to start writing the CPA exams. Later on, they will have to fulfill the requirement to meet the license by doing a two years diploma or a master's. So it's not that a person who is a graduate is not eligible. We do have to check the details, check various other uh, you know, details such as their university, their subjects to confirm their eligibility, which we do and completely free of cost. Now coming to uh, the details which people often ask is why should one do the US CPA? What are the benefits? So the benefits are I think numerous because just to name a few of them one that it's a global certification So it's going to attract and give you an opportunity to get jobs not only with US companies in India But also worldwide The duration of the program itself is a very big plus point because it's just four exams and it can be easily completed in one year. So VG Learning also offers the US CPA course for a duration of one year, where students can start giving their exams as and when they are studying. And the only rule that they need to remember is that once they have given the first exam out of the four papers, they get a timeline of 18 months in which they need to complete the remaining three exams as per their time and convenience. Another good thing about the US CPA is that you can give your exams in any order. So the four subjects, which is auditing and attestations, financial accounting and reporting, business and environment and concepts, and the US regulations, which is US tax, you can give it as per your preference and what you're strong at. So just the 18 months rule needs to be kept in mind and that starts only after one has attempted the first exam out of any of the four papers and have passed it. Another advantage would be, uh, I would say, is the job security because everybody is not going to qualify for the US CPA. I mean, there's a lot of demand and less of supply. So you're very valued and uh, 
respected for the position and for the skill set that you own. It's not that you can be very easily be replaced. So it comes with more job security. Obviously, then the next thing is that once you are a USCPA and it's a global certification, you're definitely going to be in demand and you're going to get a higher salary once you're a CPA. Now, a person who has just completed a USCPA and is a fresher, even he is getting a sa starting salary package of 10 lakhs and more. And people who are experienced, they often ask me that if I'm at a, already at a very good package, does USCPA help me in earning more? Obviously it does, because now you are at a level which is one of the highest accounting degrees that you have earned for yourself. And the kind of positions that you would be applying for will definitely give you a higher salary. Now the USCPA also uh, gives you faster and um, you know global growth uh, because you are globally exposed and uh, working with one of the top companies which are US based companies in India or worldwide it doesn't matter. So you are going to definitely grow faster than anybody who is a BCom and an MBA because they are not professionally qualified but you are. So you're definitely going to be uh, growing uh, faster than them when it comes to growth. Now, uh, US CPA, people often think that one, it's very difficult or they think that it's very expensive. So let me address this. When we talk about cost and the uh, total investment in the US CPA, the, any institute, uh, not only us, uh, their coaching fees along with the material would be ranging between 1 lakh to 1 lakh 20. So apart from that, your US CPA uh, investment for your exams is around $3,000 overall for all the four papers. So let me explain that uh, to you uh, and break down that figure. The first thing is that a person before giving the first exam has to register with the US evaluation body and needs to send all his uh, educational documents. So for that, you need to pay $225, which is just a one-time fee. After which, once you receive your evaluation report, as per your convenience and whenever you're prepared, the subjects that you want to appear for, since it's four exams, it's around $1,000 overall as a subject paper fee. So if you divide $1,000 by four exams, it's around approximately $250. Then we have an application fee so whenever one writes an exam, they also are charged an application fee, which is to get the hall ticket. Then the last one is the international testing fee. So it's $1,500, which is charged as international testing fee for all the four papers put together. So if you divide it by four, it would be around $375. Now, many people get confused with what is this international testing fee. So if you're writing your CPA exams out of US land, you are entitled to make this payment. So the best part over here is that the US CPA exams overall, if we take it as $3,000 would be approximately two and a half lakhs in Indian currency. And you don't have to make this payment in one go. So as and when you're giving your exams, you will be making those payments. Now when we come to the question of difficulty, I don't think the US CPA is difficult for a person who is disciplined and can manage his time. Because of its flexibility. There is no date sheet announced. There's no stress or pressure on the candidate, even if they are working full time. So they can choose and they can prepare accordingly. It's just the 18 months that they need to remember once they have cleared the first exam out of the four. So that way I feel it's very flexible and the syllabus that we offer is from Becker, which is one of the world's best course material for US CPA. And it's very uh, concise and it's very accurate. So I don't think a person can, uh, you know, uh, not complete his US CPA within a year or maximum one and a half years. I have seen professionals uh, clear the US CPA. So that's about the difficulty and, you know, about the investment. And another way that I compare it is that in if we invest uh, in an MBA degree in India, we are spending 
uh, around 6 to 8 lakhs. So overall, a US CPA is only going to cost you around 3.5 lakhs as of today, which includes the examination fees and any institute's coaching fees as well. So that way, I don't consider it to be expensive and comes with a global certification. You have a degree which is of one of the highest accounting degrees in the world. And it opens the door to international jobs and even jobs in India with most of the US companies and the big fours. Uh, another thing I would like to uh, talk about is uh, a lot of people are immigrating these days to Canada. So doing a US CPA is very beneficial because the Canada uh, CPA and the US CPA have an agreement where one, if he goes to Canada and immigrates, to get a job it's going to be very easy because most of the companies there are US based. So doing a US CPA from India and going to Canada is definitely going to help you get a job very easily. And if in case tomorrow one prefers to practice and not work, then he has to have a Canada CPA to practice uh, on Canada soil. And for that, he doesn't have to go through the entire Canada CPA course all over again because of the agreement. He just has to complete giving one exam and show the proof that he's completed his US CPA and he can get a Canada CPA license and can also practice. So there are a lot of benefits doing a US CPA for people who are going abroad. So uh, these are the most frequently asked questions and I would say myths about the program. So you can definitely contact VG Learnings and we will help you verify your documents free of cost and we give it to you in writing that you are eligible or if you're not, what is the best way to get eligible? So we give you those alternatives as well. So do reach out to VG Learnings because we are here to help you to make your CPA journey smooth and stress-free. Thank you.